Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So yeah, um, as you can see right below me, I did a little work off camera. Um, and one of it is that I did go mining. So, I've got about four stacks, of, or three stacks of logs, some iron, some gold, a diamond pickaxe, and about three and a half things of redstone, coal, lots of cobble, and all that. And I also started work on the sheep farm, and I expanded our wheat farm and started a sugar cane farm. So, that is wonderful. Anyway, uh, so today, we're probably gonna go to the nether, but first things first, I think I wanna show you something. Um, so while we're on the way there, I am just going to talk to you about shaders. Um, I really like shaders when it's just kind of like this in the outside world, you know, when it's caving and stuff, it gets way too dark. So I'm probably not going to do anything like that when I'm caving. So if I go to the nether or something, I'm probably not going to have shaders on, but if I do, if I'm just like in the overworld working on a building or something, then I will have shaders on. Um, so this is the thing right here. Look at this wacky terrain generation. Now, doesn't this look cool? Right up here. Look how it makes like a semicircle kind of just... Waiting to be branched up. It's so cool. It looks so cool. And we're overlooking basically everything. We even have a desert over there, so that's kind of cool. Didn't see that. Um, we also have some coarse dirt, I think. This is what it's called. So that's pretty cool. If we get to touch, we can mine this. But yeah. I think, like, on this, like, ring thing... I think it's like right over here-ish. This is some pretty crazy terrain generation. And I love crazy terrain generation. It's, it's cool. All right, come on, make it up here. So yeah. Oh, just look at this, man, it's so cool. You get a nice view of literally everything, like the birch forest over there. Just so cool, man. Like, look at this. It's so crazy. Like, this is something you would see in an amplified world. And we're not even in an amplified world. But yeah. Let's, uh... Let's go to the nether. Of course, I don't have a... Um, nether portal set up just yet. But we will soon. And that's just one big cave down there, huh? There's a zombie. Zombie in the day. How about that? But yeah. So my plan for this season is to kind of create like mini districts. Um, and what I mean by that is that um, that's a lot of lava, huh? I actually have a water bucket. Um. What I mean by that is that I am going to, you know, build everything in a little place. So my farming district is going to be over there. My regular base is probably going to be over here and what not. But, uh, yeah, I think it will be pretty cool to kind of do stuff like this. Um, let's hope we can make it to the night, make it to our bed before night falls. So I don't really want to be fighting mobs. All right. So we're gonna have to get this honey someday. Um, where is our little base of operations? It's right up here, right? It's either, it's, I know it's around here. Oh, yep, right there, I see the crafting table. All right, go, go, go. Alright, 
So yeah, like this whole thing right here. And I have a plan of like builds here. So this might be like a grain silo or something. Um, I would think that's pretty cool, right? Because I think I'm going to create some big awesome towers or bats as I like to call it. Um, what this bats will do is basically tell me where I am in the world and how to get to places. So pretty, pretty smart if I do say so myself. Um, so let's go feed these sheep first before I do collect any All right, obsidian. I'm sorry, uh, phone went off. I really should unplug it again, huh? But uh, yeah. All right, so we just did that, and now it is time to travel to the Nether. All right, so. I think we should go back to our little like base or our planned base area and get one of the lava sources there. That just makes no sense, right? Um, then you know what, I'll bring all the uh, stuff, all the obsidian to our um, farming district area. This way, this way, I forgot what I was going to say. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to find some lava over here. Shouldn't be that too hard to find since I do have shaders. And then I'm probably going to take a look at the nether without shader or like shaders, then probably with shaders. Alright, I know there's a lava pool. There it is. Alright, so let's do this. Then this. And let's start mining this obsidian for a good couple minutes, huh? Yep, ice bucket challenge. Huh. It's great. So, I'll probably get like a 10, I think, is the maximum of it. And, you know, I, I do like quartering my nether portals, but it's with like a block that actually means something to the portal itself. So, the farming district will probably be like hay bales or something. Or maybe, nah, I think it's just going to be hay bales. Hay bales is probably like the most farm, farmy block in the game right now. But hey, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. But for example, like my regular base, you know, whatever it's made out of will probably be on the corners. We find a mushroom forest or we find a mushroom island or something, it'll just be like mushroom blocks and stuff like that. Like a village, maybe we put village bells on it or something. Like, that's how I like to do my nether portals. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can create, like, another system or another highway going. Because I would like to... Because, as some of you know, the nether is... 1 in 8, I think, compared to the overworld. So every one block you travel in... The nether is eight, comp is eight in the overworld. All right, so we got this. Let's go collect our water bucket. I will probably make a cauldron because the thing about cauldrons is that you can put water in them even if you're in the nether and you can cool down. So isn't that pretty cool? Next thing we are probably going to do is make a golden helmet, just so the piglings don't get mad at me. And we don't really have enough tools to break the bedrock. Because that is something I would like to do. I would like to set up a base in the nether roof. 
Um, I don't really know how to do it just yet, like how to break it and stuff, but I'm pretty sure I can find out. All right, just doop -a doop -a doo. We should probably get a couple of little foods beforehand, so let's just kill some more sheep. Uh, sheep that are not in the enclosure. But uh, I might make a lot of progress on the farming district, like expanding it and whatnot, in, well, not this episode, of course, because we're just going to explore the nether this episode, but yeah, let's just put a coal in there, uh, we're just going to get four gold ingots and actually just bring the rest of it along with us so we can barter with piglins. Oh yeah, and I also have leads, um, I got these from a wandering trader, so uh, yeah, you know, picking up stuff isn't going to be that bad and we don't really have a village near us sadly but that's all good um because we can just get some zombie villagers all right so where do we want this to be i mean i guess next to our stuff is better than anything right one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, just get the diorite. Boop. Bonk. Bink. Now, do I have flint? I think I remember getting some flint. Yes, here it is. Flint and steel. Just gonna bring the iron with me, because for the cauldron. Don't want this. Boom. Flint and steel. And let's go look at the nether. Uh, let's get this in half. Get our golden boots on. And here we go. Alright. Looks like we're in another waste biome. I'm actually just going to turn off shaders here because it's super dark here. Oh, that's creepy AF. <laughs> Look at that. That is really creepy. Alright, and we are back. Nice. Alright, so if you don't know, this is a bastion. And I already see some blocks right there. This is pretty cool bastion. Um, it is the new structure coming, or that came to 1.16. And I think this, this looks familiar. I think this is a, this is a large one. But anyway, uh, let me show you how piglin bartering works. If you didn't know already, you just press Q. These guys will be like, ooh, shiny. And then they will drop you something in return. See, I got nether bricks. And we can just go. Alright. So, let us mine in here. I know they get mad at us uh, if we do mine, like, gold in here. So we're not going to mine gold. And we're probably going to try and block each other off from... Uh, chests because they also get mad at you if you have chests or if you open chests in front of them so yeah but right now they won't be mad at me oh no oh hey look crimson forest right there nice we actually got a really decent nether spawn huh so i don't know because i know in 1.16 they will be adding the piglin brute mob which is a stronger version of the piglin did I say pigman? I I'm sorry, I just... I, I miss our boy. I miss the uh, regular zombie pigman. Alright. So, I think these places are like... 
stairways down to golden stuff or gold like loot bunkers because yeah, there's some gold right there a lot of lava in here um let's see any gold down here no doesn't look like it at least All right. Something down here then? Something. Yeah. Look. Oh. No. Huh. Usually behind these uh, cracked, polished blackstone, there's gold. Very interesting. Anyway, as I was saying, there are going to be new piglin brutes added and I don't know if the inclusion of them is going to be any piglin brutes here because I don't think I'm prepared to fight these guys at all no so I probably won't really mine like any gold oh pigmen yeah see I just say piglin pigmen um it's just easier for me I think but uh you know I'm gonna have to get used to it so yeah, all right. So it looks like this is good couple stories. Jeez, do you think our like Nether Hub will be just right next to a piglin base? You know. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, in the heck out of there, man. So let's block this off. Right, what is down here? Oh, okay. So here's a chest. I think this is how we stop them from getting mad at us is to just build a bunker of sorts around it so that none of them can spot me doing it. So now that we are completely enclosed. All right. So it looks like we got some gold, magma cream, and string. All beautiful things. Crying obsidian is especially cool. I, I really like the design of it. And we already got some more stuff. So yeah, see, these guys aren't mad at me even though I opened a chest because I bunkered myself in. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, so let's retrieve our blocks. And there's another chest over there. Should probably get another rack or yeah, another rack for right? It's another rack. I don't know if they changed it to like nether warp blocks or something, but I just remember it as another rack. So apologies once again if I'm getting this new 1.16 logo wrong. But it's going to take uh, getting used to. Alright. Don't think anyone can spot me. And we got a whole lot of obsidian here. Holy crap. Some iron and a full block of gold. These guys mad at me? Oh. Apparently they are. Here you go. Happy now. Nah, he's ungrateful. I wonder why that is, because I swear I fully enclosed myself. Jeez. This place is huge. This has to be like one of the bigger structures, huh? So let's tunnel our way downwards. Maybe it's because I specifically took gold from a chest? Maybe. 
You guys all good with me? Cool. Say hello. Ow. I like that, like, I like that they're adding more, you know, neutral mobs. Like, neutral mobs that actively look cool. Because I really do think the Nether needed an update. And this is one way to do it. Oh god, are there magma spawners down there? I think there might be. Hello. How do I even get the sh like, ooh, shiny advancement? Ooh, shiny. Distract piglins with gold. Like, do I have to do it while I'm, like, opening a chest or something? Or what? Also, I need to get some stuff out of my inventory here. Uh, we don't need our stone tools anymore. And I guess you could use the hoe. Yeah, there is definitely a magma spawner down here, huh? So, uh, no one saw that, right? Well, luckily I have a crafting table, and I don't think they get mad if I go into a crafting table. Yeah, they don't. Alright, that's good. That is good. So let's not throw it away this time. But, uh, oh god. So yeah, there is a magma spawner down here. Why do you want to fully cover that up with some torches? Because, hey, maybe we can farm this later, you know, for, like, EXP and whatnot. Because right now, it's just going to be super duper annoying to try and get through this with these guys hunting us down 24-7. Alright. So, I don't see any more chests, but there probably is a couple. Let's try and get this and just get the heck out of here. Maybe get some more uh, nether blocks as well, maybe. What if we get a little bit closer? Come on. Okay, uh, let's just put this polished crap. Alright, let's get some stuff into the lava. That's all good. Woo! Right, so we do this. Nope. Can he even reach me up here? He's definitely facing through the floor, that's for sure. Come on. Aha, there we go. And from here, should be a lot better. Is there another spawner down here? Ah. No, that's the only one. That's a big boy. reason ow you did a heart to me i'd like to find like the lore reason why these guys use magma cubes bro i think they're still spawning uh oh. ow all right i'm gonna die down here if i keep this up jeez dude. All right, hello, chicken. They're just a chicken lying around, I guess. Nope, I don't know why they're mad. Like, what happened? Like, the only thing they get mad at is 
like what Hogland's right. There's two more big boys. I put torches around it. It should be the it should be the same whole league. It's actually just a puzzle. What the heck? Jesus. Oh, Ow. Jeez. All right. So how am I gonna get out of this one? Find out. Next time.